Hey, what is up YouTube? Today's video is to compare the uh, 2017 4K IMAX uh, GPU. It is a AMD Radeon Pro 555. I'm comparing it to an Akidio Thunder 3 with the GTX 1050 Ti. Um, I ran Cinebench here and I believe they're very close to each other when it comes to uh, frames per second so <laughs> it is you know interesting to know that um, but I do want to compare just using Cinebench um, you know maybe in different videos I'll, I'll, I'll do gaming on it um, but for now we're just gonna compare it using Cinebench uh, just to let you know, the the 2017 uh, iMac uh, base model 4K has an i5-7400 uh, quad-core processor. It's rated at a, uh, at 3 gigahertz and it turbos to 3.5. Um, so it, it's definitely a you know a capable CPU. Um, it's not as strong as what I had in my 2012 iMac which was an i7 uh, 3770K um, I mean I think it's actually a, this is a little bit slower than that remember the other one is a third generation this is a seventh generation processor um, but we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna do the graphics on here uh, I'm not gonna do the CPU but I did want to mention the CPU just in case anybody was interested or um, you know to help out with any sort of uh, research that anybody's doing all right so when I'm gonna go ahead and show you the the frames per second I'm actually really really amazed of uh, of how well this thing works uh, it is 98 frames per second a little bit over 98 frames per second that is crazy <laughs> That's all I gotta say on this. That is insane. That is really, really fast. Um, and I say that because of the old GPU that I used to have on the uh, on the 2012, which was rated at about 39 frames per second, close to 40. Uh, this is 98 uh, frames per second. Now I do want to say I am currently on boot camp right now. I'm currently running boot camp, so Windows 10 on my iMac. Um, if you run it on OS X on this 2017 model, you're looking at about 80, I think it's somewhere in the mid 80 uh, frames per second. But when you're running here on Windows, you can see the enormous difference. Um, so I'm a little nervous to uh, plug in the uh, Kitty of Thunder 3, um, you know, the GTX 1050 Ti uh, graphics because I believe it's similar uh, frames per second. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Um, it is, I do wanna show you, it is uh, back here. So as you know, this 2017 uh, IMAX, uh, they do have a Thunderbolt 3 uh, connection. So um, I'm very excited about that. I was able to connect to it. I am just trying to figure out um, if I have to connect it to an external display, because I know the 2012 you couldn't uh, you know just connect it to the iMac and then it would be good. So I do have to reset it. That's That's how it connects um, So I, let me connect that real quick and then I'll get back to you see if it, it reads it or uh, if I have to do a little tweaking But I'll let you know All right, so after uh, I want to say a few hours of trying to figure this out uh, I finally managed to get the uh, eGPU it is connected. Um, I managed to to get it to run. I, I have to do a little bit of uh, research because whenever I you know connected it for some reason it doesn't use it as a default uh, eGPU. I don't know. Maybe it's something on my end. Uh, but whenever you disable the AMD uh, Radeon, basically the internal um gpu of the imac uh, for some reason it turns off half of the screen um, i can't even access the other half here's my mouse so i can't even it basically seems like it's two screens in one um, but for some reason i can't this right here is my entire screen but i can say that it is connected to the egpu 
as you can see right there the graphics board is a GTX 1050 Ti that it that is connected in the back um, so I'm just gonna run the benchmark like this um, and uh, go from there uh, yeah, uh, it, w it took it took quite a bit. I did try to do some research, couldn't find anything. Um, I I did this. I disabled it, but it was completely frozen at the time. Um, so it reset on its own when I unplugged it and plugged the eGPU back in, and it went back to normal graphics. So uh, this is something I'm gonna do a little bit of research on. Maybe I'll reset it. Um, but uh, as of right now, we're just going to go ahead and run this um, this benchmark here, uh, and it is on the eGPU. I'm just going to, not going to fast forward, I'm just going to leave it here, but I didn't want to talk about, you know, why it's like this. If anybody knows, you know, please let me know. Hopefully I figured it out by the time I've uh, posted this video, but, um, you know, this is what it is right now. And, uh... It is slightly better graphics. I will say that it is not. <laughs> it's not. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. Um. So I'm gonna show you real quick. It is 108 and a half frames per second. Again, it is running the GTX 1050 Ti. Um, I will say a couple things though. Um, I do want to show you the bottom score here. I am holding it on a tripod and trying to avoid hitting me. All right, so the number two, um, that Radeon Pro 555 is actually the one I ran, uh, I wanna say a few minutes before, um, you know, a few minutes before uh, I disabled the internal GPU. Uh, it was really close to the 100 frames per second. Um, so 99.77 and with the GTX 1050 Ti it's running 108 um, now the, the couple things that I do want to mention this is just Cinebench uh, again I wouldn't just rely on Cinebench uh, and here are the couple reasons why um, first off with the with running uh, just the internals uh, you got to look at the you know you got to look at the memory of the eGPU um, internal here it's a ddr g ddr5 um at two gigabytes uh while as the 1050 ti has four gigabytes of ddr5 um big difference when you're playing games i usually just play gta5 um and you know you you could see the difference in there look into that as well too uh, but you know when you're just if you just want something with basic graphics uh, you know I'm sure a 10 you know 1080p I'm sure you'll be able to hit 30 frames per second um, you should be fine but in this case it is just slightly better uh, very disappointing so this is something that you know we have to I have to just wait and see if there's a better graphics card down the road that meets that Akidio Thunder 3 size which is a, a pretty small one um, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them uh, on the comments down below. Um, I appreciate you watching this video. Sorry it took so long. Uh, I'm just trying to get the best content for you uh, with somebody who does not know much about you know video editing. I, I do my best just to uh, help anybody out. Um, but again, uh, please subscribe and uh, I would appreciate it. And I'll uh, catch you in the next video. All right, so uh, a quick update actually. Um, what I have done was I, you know, there's me, but what I have done was I re-enabled the AMD internal graphics on the iMac. Uh, it just turned off and it went to an external display. Um, so we are currently on an external display from, you know, from my understanding, uh, if you're running an external display, uh, you have better, uh, better numbers, uh, better, you know, benchmarks. So. Um, and it's exactly what I figured right there. Now we're running at about 119 frames per second. Um, and here it is right here. Okay, so the two orange ones are me. Actually, the, the top three are me. Um, so let's go with the third one. The third one was straight from the internal graphics. 
uh, and I ran a 99.77. Um, I did the second one as you saw um, and that one is 108 but I guess that was running on the internal graphics and then here we have the um, when I re-enabled uh, the internal graphics it, it basically shut off as I was expecting it to and went uh, th that turned off on it and it went straight everything was basically dragged over from there to here and then now we are at 119 frames per second. Um, and that's exactly what I was uh, expecting it to do was, uh, you know, when it's run on an external display, it's a lot better performance as opposed to running it internally. Um, but I'm having issues with it running internally. Um, so therefore I, you know, therefore I'm just gonna leave it uh, like this for now um, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be some updates and whatnot but um yeah I uh, just wanted to show you that that uh, there's better performance um, so you know if it is it is it worth the extra 20% um, you know that's up to you to decide I would say yes just to play games but if you're just gonna do everyday stuff I don't think so so there you have it if you have any questions again feel free to leave them on the comments and uh yeah i think that's it um i'm excited about this run uh, i will probably uh, do some more but for now i'm just gonna leave it from here again if you have any questions just leave them on the comments and uh please hit that subscribe button i appreciate it thanks so much